What is up everybody? Today, man, we have snowy weather, man. I'll tell you what, we can't win when it comes to weather on the weekends. It's either windy, snowing, nor'easters. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just one of those days. But we're gonna uh, make a day out of this, regardless of the weather. So stay tuned. Right now we're gonna paddle up river, find some deep holes, and uh, test out some jigs. So I'll see you guys at the next spot. All right, so we just found a spot. I'm dropping the anchor over. Um, found a deeper hole. Um, when we're fishing, you know, colder weather like we are today, the deeper holes are gonna be where the fish are holding. Um, the, the next best question is gonna be, will they bite? So stay tuned, let me uh, see if the anchor holds. I know the wind is supposed to pick up, so I'm hoping that we could get a little bit of fishing in before the wind, you know, really takes over today. But. All right, guys, so today air temperature's in the uh, low 30s. Uh, water temperature dropped two degrees down to 39. Um, I figured so with all the snow we've been getting that it was gonna eventually cool the, you know, the, the surface of the t uh, water. But uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We just deployed the anchor. Um, we'll see what happens. Now I did have some leftover grass shrimp from our last trip, so what I'm doing right now is just baiting up a sabiki rig. We're just gonna throw that out, dead stick, let it just sit while we're jigging and see if uh, we can pick off some, you know, hungry uh, perch. We're just, all we're doing though is just loading up the hook with some grass shrimp. And I'm just gonna pitch it right out here to my left. And that one's just gonna go dead stick. Keep an eye on it while we're jigging and maybe there might might be a hungry perch that runs into it all right so we're going to give one of these wrapping jigs a try on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we're gonna use a stump jumper the bass pro shop special but all i'm doing whoo, is just letting it hit all the way to the bottom and then just straight jigging it up and down and hope that you know there's a hungry uh, perch down there sit this one like that there we go now i just put the stump jumper down on the right hand side um giving that a quick shot i'm keeping an eye on the sabiki rig to my left uh, i'm gonna alternate probably between the two rigs between the stump jumper and the uh, wrapping jig just gonna kind of see what happens what works what doesn't so we'll see getting our first hit of the day oh fish on babe let's go first fish of the day in the snow i don't know what it is though oh son surprise of the day man new species for 2021 man looks like we got ourselves a catfish not sure what type hold on let me uh get situated here oh I'll tell you what man I was starting to lose a little bit of hope I can't feel my hands I mean legitimately cannot feel my hands right now and I was not not uh having a good feeling about today's trip and literally just looked and my rod was keeled over ended up being a uh, catfish a nice you know a little catfish but uh we'll, we'll keep fighting it out hopefully there's more than that catfish today because tell you what we're getting a hit on the sabiki again got him got him baby feels a little different let's go white perch baby white perch tell you what man it is it is hard to fish in this type of conditions when you're not catching anything I say it the best, man. You don't realize how cold you are until you're not catching fish. When you start catching fish, it goes all out the window and everything's good. But when you're not catching fish and hands are like turning purple, it could be a real long trip. All right, man. It was, I'll tell you what, it was getting rough for a few minutes here because it was pretty quiet. Now I know the tide was slack, so you know, typically slack tide is slow for this type of fishing. Um, I've always had better luck, you know, 
catching fish during you know some type of tidal movement but uh you know so far so good we got a catfish we got a perch can't feel our hands but we ain't letting that stop us right now man that's uh that's my fault for you know not uh i guess wearing the right gloves these gloves are great for all right we're gonna pitch it back out it is crazy man you don't realize how cold you are when you're catching fish i feel fine now we keep getting hits like we are you know pretty quickly after casting um i'll be you know sweating by the end of this trip but good sign is the bite is starting to pick up i think it has something to do with the tide switching uh, i think when i started fishing today it was like the last you know 10 minutes or so of the outgoing now it's the incoming uh the entire slack period we had today was dead as can be not a single you know fish not a single hit but the minute the tide started moving we started getting a little more action getting a hit fish on let's go let's go another white perch baby the day is not lost they might have they might have broken my will a little bit ago, but right now we're in good shape. It's crazy. I feel like I'm getting warmer every fish I catch. But uh, another beautiful white perch in the winter time. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time today. I mean, that's all we had. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, uh, click that subscribe button down below if you're not a subscriber to the channel. I'm about to paddle back and try and, you know, warm my hands up so I can load the kayak on my truck.